actually it is our lord jesus christ mm -hmm. who said you are peter and upon this rock i shall build my church yeah. and not even the gates of hell shall um what's that one shall uh, prevail mm -hmm. against my church so that over the years if you were to look through all the years mm -hmm. that the church has been in existence since the time of our lord none nothing that has ever been proclaimed concern, concerning faith and morals mm -hmm. has ever been in error okay and even in this case mm -hmm. if you look at the document carefully mm -hmm. you would realize that there is no error mm -hmm. there's no where where they have said that something is uh, holy, whereas it is truly sinful. Sinful. Uh -huh. Because it's very easy to distinguish between those two, actually. Right. But in this document, the Pope really has shown his fatherly nature mm -hmm. in terms of reaching out to people who are in the depths Depth of sin of to sin. try and uh -huh. pull them out out of it. All right. So, so yes, so that topic did cover that very well mm -hmm. pa papal infallibility mm -hmm. uh, and we did say that it is not it doesn't have to do mm -hmm. with the sinlessness mm -hmm. of the pope okay okay mm -hmm. because there have been popes mm -hmm. in the past years who have been uh, we we have had the privilege of just the last number of decades mm -hmm. which are still fresh in our memories but before that there were popes who were very sinful okay but mm -hmm. that does not disqualify mm -hmm. papal infallibility mm -hmm. because it has nothing to do with that mm -hmm. it covers more to do with anything any declaration any uh, the, any declaration that is made from okay the term is ex cathedra mm -hmm. from the seat of St. Peter. Yeah. Does it have any error? No. no. It never does. There has never been any which has had any error. Okay. In terms of matters of faith mm -hmm. and morals. Mm -hmm.